What we're going to be going over today are different kinds of igneous rocks and how you can recognize them. So we're going to create a flowchart, almost like the one we used for minerals, that you can use to identify the rocks in your rock labs when we get to that. So we need a title, and I always put my titles at top center. I am holding my page in landscape orientation just because that's the way that my board goes. But if you'd like to do yours portrait, then that's fine too. So let's put our title in the top center of our page. We are, of course, talking about igneous rocks. And we should remember from before that those are the rocks that are made from magma or from lava. And they can be either felsic, which means light colored, or mafic, which means dark colored. The different colors come from the different types of lava or magma that they came from. And we'll talk about that in more detail in a couple of chapters. There are two main kinds of igneous rocks, and it has to do with where they form. So let's do the first one off to the right hand side. The first kind of igneous rocks are called intrusive. These are also sometimes called plutonic. Both of those words tell you that the rocks formed inside the earth. So it formed underground. Because intrusive rocks form underground, that gives them a specific texture that we call coarse grain. Coarse grained means that that rock has large visible crystals. This is because if the rock pools inside the earth or under the surface, it takes a long time to cool. And as it takes a long time to cool, the crystals have time to grow bigger. So intrusive rocks have coarse grained texture, which means you can easily see the crystals. You will see two coarse grained rocks in your lab. One that is felsic, and remember that means it's generally light colored. That one is granite. Granite is a pretty popular choice for countertops these days. It makes a good building rock because it's very hard. It's hard to break. The other one is the mafic rock, which would be generally dark colored. And that one is called gabbro. Granite and gabbro are the two intrusive rocks that you will have to identify during your lab. Okay, let's do this second kind of igneous rocks. You could probably take a guess that the second kind of igneous rocks are going to be called extrusive. These are also sometimes called volcanic because they form outside the surface of the earth. And if you think about our planet, where does magma come to the surface? At volcanoes. So that's why they're called volcanic rocks. They form outside the surface of the earth. There are three different kinds of textures that you can get with an extrusive rock. 
first, the opposite of coarse grained would be fine grained. Fine grained rocks have crystals, but they're only visible with a magnifying glass. You'll see two fine-grained rocks in your lab. Again, we have one that is felsic, or generally light-colored, and that one's name is rhyolite. And there's one that is mafic. And that one is called basalt. Most of the ocean floor is made of basalt. And that one is dark colored. The second kind of texture that you can have for an extrusive rock is called glassy. And that looks pretty much just like what it sounds like. There are no crystals, and that is because glassy igneous rocks cooled too fast for any crystals to grow. Often that means they cooled in water. Water would cool them down very quickly so the crystals wouldn't have time to grow. There is one glassy rock that you'll see in your lab and it is felsic, even though it's dark colored. It is dark, dark colored, but it is still made from felsic lava. And that is obsidian. And we'll put a note down here. It's dark, even though it's felsic. The third kind of texture that you can have with an extrusive rock is called vesicular. And that kind of comes from the word vessel. Uh, a vessel is something that you can fill, like a container. Vesicular refers to a texture that has holes in it. So cavities that could have been filled with something. And it turns out that they were filled with gases that were trapped, usually during a volcanic eruption. And as those gases escape to the atmosphere, they leave behind holes in the rock. The rock cools while the gases are still there, and they leave holes in the rock, and then the gases escape to the atmosphere. There are two vesicular rocks that you'll see in your lab. Again, we have one that is felsic, and that is called pumice. Pumice is co pretty commonly used as an abrasive. Uh, there's a pumice soap where you use it and you can feel little like bits of grit on your hands. Uh, pumice is also used as a way to remove calluses like from your feet. You can buy a pumice stone. The other one that is mafic, is called scoria. And you might recognize it when you see it. It's commonly used in like landscaping. So they actually sell it at Menards. You can buy it in bulk. Okay, that should do it for the types of igneous rocks.